everybody. Welcome to the Golden yeah. Bay. Everybody, it's Rebecca Louise and I'm so excited to be bringing you a 50 minute thigh thinner workout from Golden Bay in the Galapagos. It's going to be incredible, you are going to feel the burn, so make sure you hashtag I can feel the burn Rebecca and also follow me on Instagram Rebecca Louise Fitness to see all the funny things that happen behind the scenes. Okay, so we're going to start off with a nice little warm up, we're just going to keep that chest up and we're going to do side lunges. So just bringing that leg together, squeeze out to the side and lifting that chest up. You have got a workout in paradise today. If you look really closely or you hear closely, you might even be able to hear a seal. And now uh, they kind of look a little bit like Alfie in the background, not really doing much and just lying down. So you will definitely notice them if you see it. Okay, so squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. You're gonna extend out to the sides and then pull up. So we've got 15 minutes, it's on the clock, and we are gonna feel great. You hug and burn those thighs. You're gonna get a little bit of booty workout too. Also those quads and the hamstrings. So that's it, as you go down, really keep that chest up and then squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. You feel like you're in paradise with me? Oh yeah, you are gonna get through this 15 minute workout so easy, you won't even know that you finished. You're gonna be like, Rebecca, I wanna do more. Okay, let's hold it out here. And so we're just gonna bring it back to the top and then squeeze out to the side. So to the top and squeeze, always keeping that chest up. And then as you go out to the side, really push that knee out, okay? So squeeze, lift up, and squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. And always smile. When you're working out and you're smiling, it's gonna make it so much more enjoyable. Okay, let's do five more. Really push that knee out to the side. Four, and three, two, and one. Okay, right back to the middle, and out to the other side. So squeeze, and then straight legs. So we're just getting a nice stretch, working on that flexibility, opening up those hips, and then really burning those inside thighs. We're gonna get some serious thigh burn today. You're not just doing 10 minutes, you are doing 15 minutes. And squeeze. Again, let's do five mil. On this side, really push that leg out to the side, and back up again. Woo! I'm liking it. You're doing incredible. Two more, squeeze, lift up, and one more. Okay, nice work everybody. Shake it out. Now you're gonna take your leg out to the side, lift that chest up, I'm gonna squeeze and drop down. So it's straight out to the side, your toe is pointed. Okay, so lift up and squeeze those inner thighs. So almost when I think about your foot being floppy and you're using that inner thigh to bring the leg up. Yeah, you're gonna feel it in the glutes too, but really concentrate on using that inner thigh to squeeze up. I'm liking it guys. You're feeling amazing. I know Alfie's not here, but I'm taking you to paradise. So I think it's, it's a good switch up for today. Let's go. Now, hold it up at the top, work on that balance, squeeze up, tuck those hips underneath, and three, two, one, over to the other side, and lift up. This is really great for your core as well. It's gonna help your balance. Make sure that your chest is up, working in that posture. And you can either put your hands here, okay, out to the side or wherever they, feel most comfortable and you can hold your balance. That's it, squeeze the leg up. And uh, we're gonna some really starting to feel those glutes warm up for you. Woo! Okay, three, two, and one. Okay, great job. Next set of exercises. Okay, we're gonna actually work those little bit of the hamstrings as well in this workout. So you're gonna have your hands out in front of you. If you've got weights, you can use them. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your legs, you're gonna swing through, and as you get to the top, you squeeze. Okay, so almost all the way down. Bring back up, and then squeeze, tucking those hips underneath. So really working on strengthening that supporting leg. Okay, it's gonna be really great for your balance as well. But modified, you can bring your foot back down, so you can go here, and then squeeze, and bring back together. All right, guys, I want you to try it. Just try one, when you don't put your foot down, and then squeeze. Nice work, everybody. Let's keep it up, keep pushing through. Give me one more on this side. Squeeze, and then the other side. Okay, here we go. Down, and lift up. Always tucking those hips up underneath as you get to the top. Now if you want to, you can use weights. You can use weights in any of my workouts. Just hold on to them while you do the same moves. All weights are gonna do is increase a little bit of resistance. You're not gonna get bulky. Do not worry. One morning, you won't woke up and look like the Incredible Hulk. It takes a lot of time and effort, food, and very, very heavy weights to get super 
muscly. Okay, shake those legs out. How are we feeling? Good job. Okay, let's drop it down to the ground. We are gonna work some bridges. My absolute favorite. So get nice and comfortable on your mat. Okay, your hands by your side. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna bring those knees up and squeeze. So bring that hip up to the top and down. So if you're just warming up those thighs, oh, you can always just close your eyes and just hear them, the nice ocean and the seals squealing in the background and enjoying this workout. Nice work, okay, so we're gonna hold it here. And what I want you to do is we need to bring up one leg and you're gonna bring it in towards your chest and then put it down. So we're gonna do the same leg. So keep squeezing in, bringing them into the chest and down. Take a nice big breath in for me and breathe out. And just know that you are gonna get through this workout. You're gonna feel amazing and you're gonna get those results. Let's swap over to the other side. So bring that knee in. So what we're doing here is we're warming up those inside thighs. We're working on those glutes too, the whole lower body to really squeeze tight and tone everything. Let's give me two more on this side. Keep that foot flexed, bring here. And now hold up here. We're gonna bring those knees in. Now we're about to get to some serious burn and I want you to think, oh my goodness, I know that I'm feeling the burn, but this means it's working. This means I'm getting results. So keep squeezing those legs together. That's it, bringing those knees in. Keep your feet parallel and then keep those glutes up, really pushing your pelvis and your hips up towards the sky. Okay, now hold it in here. Really squeeze for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Oh my goodness, I know it's kills, but we're gonna go again. We're gonna squeeze. We're gonna keep working. Woo! I know you're burning, guys, but this is when the body starts to change. You need to feel that burn. And remember, 80% is nutrition, 20% is fitness. So if you're serious about getting results, you wanna make sure that you jump on my nutrition plan, so you can get all the details below. Okay, and squeeze. For five, four, three, two, one, okay, hold those knees in together for the last 10, 9, 8, 7, push those hips up, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, okay, drop down, how are we feeling? We're going to keep on going, so I want you to come onto your side, you're going to have your elbow underneath, and all you're going to do is you're going to do circles, okay, so keep that foot nice and floppy, and we're just going to circle round, really working that inside thigh, you're gonna work those glutes as well. Okay, great stuff. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna bring your leg out onto a diagonal, okay? And you're just gonna lift up and down. Squeeze that inside thigh. Really make that muscle lift up. I'm burning. Just inch by inch, getting that thigh gap, getting those thinner thighs. And breathing all the time. So important that you eat, you know, a good hour before that you exercise. You're getting lots of hydrate on during, lots of water you're not gonna get dizzy. Okay, and let's go. For three, two, one. Okay, same again, but out to the back. So really waking up every muscle in our legs. You're gonna feel great. You're gonna feel amazing when you're done. But you gotta get through this workout, guys. And let's breathe. For five, four, three, two, one. That's it, shake those legs out. We're gonna have no rest. We're going straight over to the other side. So hand down here, and we're gonna circle. Just to warm up, keep that foot nice and floppy, and just circle round. Oh, that's it, I'm starting to really feel that tingle in my legs. And make sure you guys hashtag, I can feel the burn Rebecca, on your social media so I can find you guys. That's it, keep breathing for three, two, one. Now put that leg out onto a diagonal. Really make sure that you're lifting up into your chest, and let's lift those legs up and down. Oh, we're feeling great, guys. You are doing so incredible. You've just got to believe in yourself. You've got to know that I can do this. You're going to get through to the end of the workout. And I really, I really love feeling that burn. It's so great, you know, when you go into the gym and maybe you're just putting on a workout video and you find it a little bit challenging at the beginning. Once you get going, okay, once you've just got through that first, you know, four or five minutes, that's when you start to enjoy it and your body's warmed up. Okay, let's take it to the back. And up we go. Try and keep those hips on top of each other the whole time. And you can relax your foot. I always find that if my foot is relaxed, I'm really concentrating on my legs from doing the work, my glutes doing the work, rather than squeezing my toe. Oh, you feeling good, guys? Come on, shake your head. Yes, shake your head. Not this way, shake your head. Shake your head up and down. And let's go for three, two, one. 
Okay, we're gonna go back onto our backs. So lie down for me. You're doing so good, but I want you to keep on going. All you're gonna do is you're gonna do big circles, okay? So we're working those abs a little bit too, engaging those muscles, but nice and low to the ground, as low as you can go without your back coming off the ground. So big circles, you can put your arms here if it helps a little bit, but really important, if your back starts to come off the ground, I just want you to do small circles. This is really gonna help open up your hips as well if you're working on your flexibility, and then squeeze. Oh, okay, can we go the other way? Let's try it, all the way. <laughs> it's kind of like a little bit of a test with your, with your brain to see on your coordination, so let's just try it. And that's it, keep squeezing. You might find that one way is much easier than the other. And then that's it, nice big circles. Really squeeze those abs down into the ground, getting a good old ab workout in there as well at the same time. If you want a full ab workout, just check out the library that says abs, and you're gonna find tons of awesome workouts to get you a six pack and a flat abs. Okay, let's go, let's go one more. Squeeze all the way up to the top, and then relax those legs and gently do a roll up for me. We're gonna come all the way up to the top. Legs shaking, oh, how are we feeling? Come on guys, we gotta keep pounding through. You're doing amazing. But this is where the body's gonna start to really change. So we're going to take a nice wide plie, okay? We're gonna squeeze up and down. Now this is not a squat, this is tucking underneath. Okay, really important, because we wanna work those thighs, we're not gonna work those glutes. So squeezing up as you get to the top. You can start to really feel it as soon as you do the first few because of all the other exercises that we've been doing. Okay, nice work. And squeeze. Chest is up. And then as you're coming up to the top, you're squeezing those glutes. Can you start to feel it in those inside thighs? You guys are doing great. Just keep breathing and just keep thinking, I can do this. I can get through to the end. I'm gonna get through to the end. I'm gonna make it happen. And each time you do this workout, it's gonna get easier but you've got to start. I have a saying that, you know, you've got to start to be great, okay? You can't just be great straight away. You've got to start. Okay, now come down here and hold for me. Make sure those hips are tucked underneath. And then one at a time, we're just gonna pulse and lift Woo, the balls of the feet up. That's it. You're feeling great. Woo, that's it. Squeeze those hips underneath. Try and get a little bit lower for me. Now hold up to the top and pulse for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back into those plie squats. All the way down and squeeze. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling powerful? Are you gonna be able to get through this workout? Yes, you can. We're doing so great. Now hold it down here. Tuck those hips underneath and squeeze for 10. Get lower. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and squeeze at the top and shake those legs out. Okay, next exercise we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna do a kick out to the side and then we're gonna do a plie squat. So you bring your foot in, kick, down, and plie squat. So really working that inside thigh, getting a bit of cardio in there, a little bit of kickboxing. I know you guys love kickboxing. It's like your new favorite. And keep that chest up. It doesn't have to be a high kick out to the side. Just make sure that when you do that squat, it's a plie squat. Keeping that hips tucked underneath and kick out to the side. Give me one more on this side. Kick. Okay, over to the other side. So let's start with a, a plie squat and kick. Chest is up and kick it out to the side. You're nailing it guys. You're gonna keep doing amazing things. You might be able to hear the seals in the background. They are, they're cheering you on too. All the wildlife here in the Galapagos Island is cheering you on. That's it, chest up and squeeze. Keep those hips tucked underneath. Breathing in and out and enjoying yourself. Give yourself a smile. It's not that bad. Look, we're in paradise. Breathing in and out and kick it out to the side. Okay, shake out those arms and legs. We're gonna go back into those side lunges. So lifting up and breathe. Can you feel the difference now to when we first started? You guys are doing so great. I love working out with you. I love you. You guys on Instagram or Facebook always giving us awesome comments and telling us exactly what workouts you wanna see. So 
Maybe there's a workout you desperately want. And let us know by commenting below. Okay, let's just jog it out on the spot. We've got our last 60 seconds left to go. Just breathing in. Get that little bit of cardio. That's it, and give yourself a smile. What we're gonna do is just gonna open up those legs. Work in those abs too. Give me a nice stretch. And make sure you do the cool down video too afterwards. Okay, that's really important to make sure that you don't feel as stiff the next day. If you are feeling really stiff, maybe you wanna look at getting some sort of post recovery shake. We've got them all on the nutrition plan. So if you need any help with that, we have got you intact. So that's it, just shake it out. Last little bit. Let's take it for 10 side lunges. For 10, nine, chest up, eight, seven, and six, five, come on guys, keep it going. Four, three, two, last one is gonna be your best one. Squeeze and shake it out. You guys managed to do it, 15 minutes of inner thigh burst. Make sure you hashtag I can feel the bad Rebecca. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Rebecca Louise Fitness. And we'll see you in the next Island Paradise.